Box. Welcome back and uh, in this video we are installing VDA to make master image and we'll use it for MCS the machine creation service the VDA what it is the virtual delivery agent so let's get it started I just logged into the V center and uh, I have this server in last video we have uh, you know build the server and now we are going to install VDA agent on it to make master image okay so let me launch it okay now we need an iso file of what citrix and from there we can install the vda okay so where i do have the iso file in the location here in the d drive and what is the ip address of my machine let me check that ip config is the command to check the ip 10 10 100 okay 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 100 Um, the drive and the ISO file I need this ISO file to install the VDA agent okay so let me copy this and I will paste it over here in the C drive okay I really suggest do not run from the network location just copy locally and run it of course it won't take much time to download over here the copy almost done now we have this file also file in c drive right click mount this and run this auto select say yes what we are going to do is over here we are going to install what the vda the virtual delivery agent of course if you don't install vda agent on the server on the client machine the communication will not happen between the citrix server and the client machine so of course there is no way where you can publish the desktop application without having vda agent installed on the server or either on the client machine click on this start i clicked on it what's your delivery agent now what we have create a master image mcs image and just enable brokered connection to a server what this means is when you see enable brokered connection to a server you will not able to use this server as a master image you won't able to create another server using this machine okay so what we are going to perform on this particular server is we are going to make this server as a master image later on when we use mcs service we will use the same server and we will able to create multiple server using this master image okay one more thing i just wanted to bring it up that mcs image also you can say golden image okay somebody tell you what is golden image in citrix so not to be confused golden image also called as mcs so say next say next leave as it is default okay controller name what is our controller name the citrix controller name so this is our citrix server guys not to be worried it's a very important topic okay so what we are looking for the machine name of what citrix server host name what it is citrix 01 okay and what is the complete name if you go here properties citrix 01.careerhub.com that is what we need to enter over there citrix 01.careerhub.com you need to click on this test connection okay it's checked what that means is this particular server is able to connect with the citrix server okay click on add if you have multiple delivery controller you can add multiple over here okay in our case we have just one citrix server so we have just added one say next 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 and just click on install so 
so prerequisite was not there in the servers that is what it's getting installed okay right now microsoft.net framework 4.8 needed the remote desktop connection needed the remote desktop session host needed because we are going going to make the server as a multiple session host okay windows remote assistant feature is needed the microsoft bezel x64 bit needed and 32 bit same thing then once these all prerequisite will install core component that is virtual delivery agent will be installed so i'll pause here little bit and uh, once these all prerequisite installation will completed i will resume this video hey guys one thing i just wanted to tell you that the installation was running for uh, the dotnet 4.8 and it was asking for the restart once the server will restart this window will be come up and this will asking you for the installation media okay just do one thing just click on cancel okay go again in the c drive where we have saved the what the iso file mount it again and we need to perform the same step but of course these steps will resume the same where it was left okay so i just ran the .exe file again to install the vda again click on start this one virtual delivery agent and of course it will resume where it was left you see it i'll make it full screen yeah so after the installation of dotnet framework the machine was restarted the machine needs to be restarted again okay so once this message will come up just do the same thing just reboot reboot is of course compulsory else the installation will not go further our v center is not installing okay our v center is not restarting what is starting is our server this one server 002 okay which we are making the master image while i'm on the screen maybe if you want to make it forward just forward this video i'll log in again and i will have the same window to browse the media one thing you can do is um, if you extract the iso file uh, that window will not come up okay so if you want you can do so you see this window come again cancel it go again mount this if i copy paste this again if it will ask for restart and we we do restart once the machine will restart installation will be continue it won't ask you to browse the media so i'm doing that now okay so better in the very first step when we start installing this vd agent on the server just copy paste extract the iso file so it won't ask you again and again to browse the media okay the setup file so better we can copy paste and we can run the setup that is what my suggestion is this is all up to you okay I, i'm not sure if i explain what this means virtual apps when you select virtual apps we would only only able to install virtual citrix virtual apps okay why we are select selecting this because we are making citrix server the citrix virtualization where we can able to publish apps plus desktop okay again vda this one i'll make it full screen again
the virtual delivery agent will take uh, more time if you compare to this prerequisite because this is a big component uh, so i'll pause the video and i'll resume it back once we are on the component initialization okay hey guys now it shows less than one minute so i just resume the video and i believe so it is almost done it looks well just to let you know while installation if you get some kind of error message any error message just do search on citrix side the official side and you will get the kb article and just go through that and fix the issue in case it's still if the issue is not getting resolved you can just send me a message and uh, i will take remote of your machine uh, and i will try to help you out hope this helps It is mentioned less than one minute but literally it is not promising no it's more than one minute i guess so but now i will not pause the video oh it's completed hmm, machine is hitting us wow component initialization will not take much time so i'll stay and once this is complete we will go ahead and add what hosting service in citrix server in the studio okay so it is about to complete and in very next video we are going to add hosting service what that mean is we are going to add the vmware and studio perfect it's done i really don't want to collect diagnostic information say next restart machine do it i do not have any issue okay guys the vda installation is done and now we will meet you in next video very next video to add vmware hosting service in studio the citrix server thank you very much for watching this